Just come to the fourth move of the eight brocades Quigong sequence. Um, long winded name, nice simple exercise, but long winded name again. Um, again, looking back <clears throat> to eliminate the five fatigues and seven illnesses, or wise owl gazes backwards to eliminate fatigue. I've heard it called, called very similar names around about, or just wise owl gazes backwards is more suffice. Again, nice simple movement, using the sternocleidomastoid muscle here. Um, again, if you want to go into it deeper, you can do a deeper squat. And again, always give that option on that. Lovely run. So you're just gonna go backwards. And it's again, it's a nice one, it opens out the chest. It will use the rotor cuff slightly as you supinate the hands, keeping the shoulders down. Um, and again, you're going to be using the neck, this muscle. Here, the sternum muscle will be used as if you're sort of turning off a skewer. Again, just releasing neck tension, stuff like that. Um, yeah, and just basically helping the governing vessel and conception vessel. In Chinese medicine, they believe these to run up and down the spine. So it's just really helping nourish that and nourish all the meridians coming off that within the whole of the body. Um, I digress there. So breathing's the same. Nice meditative breath, quick on breathing. Breathe near the belly button or the belly like a balloon. Filling that up like a balloon and then exhaling, letting go. Increasing and decreasing that area, but not forcing anything. Nice, soft, sweet breath. Okay, again, nothing forced, just allowing that release of the inner resistance of the body with the breathing. Lovely. So, I'll go back and demonstrate this again. Like I said, you can go as deep as you like. So, again, it can be just up here. Again, nice, simple motion. You just literally on the in breath. You're breathing in and then you're exhaling just to let go, to turn here. Breathing in and then exhaling to let go. Open out the chest. Again, you're supinating the hands, getting the rotor cuffs turning and you're opening out the chest and you're turning the head. Getting the levator scapular muscle stretched one side and the other side's being used as you turn of that skewer. Again, like they're going deeper, you go in sort of like a squat or even wider here. Again, feet facing the front or slightly out if you're wide. Again, it's up to you how deep you go in. Same deal, lengthen up for the crown, shoulders over hips, hand over shoulders. You're going to breathe in and exhale. Turn that head off the skewer, breathe in, come back up and exhale. Again, you can be shorter, more taller, or more deeper, optional. Again, exhale, breathe in. Don't be fighting the moving rounds as well. If you want to edge rounds, move around to find a comfortable position for you, you can do to get that stance right. And again, exhale. I wouldn't let the knees go past the toes, personally. Okay, again, to be safe. Again, breathing in, coming up. And exhale, open up the chest, breathing back to centre, and exhale. As if you're sort of turning off a skewer, keep your shoulders over your hips, head over shoulders, tension out the shoulders, allow them to stay down. Exhale, and breathing in to the belly button or the belly like a balloon. And again, obviously, my pace and your pace would be different, so just link that breath to motion. If you want to just elongate the out breath without forcing anything, you can do. And exhaling. I was overemphasizing the breath there. But again, you're looking that lovely smooth breath. That's what you're looking for. Allowing that smooth breath to relax the mind. Soothe the mind with the sound of your own breath. Lovely. That's... Wise Owl Gazes Backwards, number four of eight brocades. Put long sequence, lovely. Bye.